Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to make myself another planner. Now, I have done many planners in the past and I've gotta say my favorite one is in a composition notebook. So I've got this composition book that I got from the Dollar Tree and I've already prepped the pages inside um, I'll show you how I did that, but I was really inspired by this transfer that I found at the Dollar Tree. I think it is so beautiful. It's very vintage, and I think it would go under the term like um, shabby chic. I think that's what it looks like, shabby chic to me, maybe vintage. Um, these are just a couple other things that I pick up from the Dollar Tree for my junk journals. So I figured this planner is going to be a little junk journal-y, vintage-y, shabby, shabby chic. Um, and these are just some other things that I've gotten at the Dollar Tree. So I am going to keep this um, very Dollar Tree friendly. And I'm going to try to use everything Dollar Tree, even my glues, to show you that you do not have to have expensive items to get in your craft room and craft. Now these tickets, also Dollar Tree, I know they have them in different colors, but what I've done with some of this material that you're seeing right here is coffee dyed it, like this receipt. It completely changes the texture of things when you coffee dye them. It makes them, for some reason, thicker once they dry. So I'm showing you an original one. They're very, very thin and very, very flimsy. But once you put them in the coffee and then you put them in the oven, it makes them really thick for some reason. So some of the material that I'm using has been coffee dyed, but all of the material is from the Dollar Tree. The book pages all ripped out from the Dollar Tree books that I've gotten. All these index cards, all the playing cards, the multiplication and addition cards that you see me using the burlap, the lace, all of it, Dollar Tree.
Okay guys, so I'm just going to take a chance, do a voiceover here for the ending of this. <laughs> what I'm doing here is I'm going to use this um, acetate that they package the rub-on transfers in and I'm just cutting it down and I'm going to make the front shorter than the back and then I'm going to glue it onto a piece of the um, thick cardstock that the rub-on transfers came in. And then I'm going to glue it onto the inside front of my planner here. And this is going to be my pocket. I keep all of my extra stickers, maybe my extra post-it notes, uh, maybe appointment cards that people give me, things like that. I can just stick right in this little handy pocket here.
So while that acetate pocket is drying, I'm just going to take these stickers that I just got recently and I'm going to go ahead and decorate the inside of this cover um, just around where I think the pocket's going to go and then I'll put the pocket on. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I'm just gonna finish decorating this and then I'm gonna be done with it. I am very happy with how it turned out. It's very, like I said, vintage-y or shabby chic, if you will. Um, I feel like it's really got the junk journal feel to it. So I don't know how I'm gonna go about with my spreads. I don't know if I'm gonna do, you know, my normal spreads. Maybe I'll just do junk journal spreads. I don't know, I have no idea what's in plan for this planner so um, stay tuned and we'll do some plan with me maybe next week um, but until then I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and um, if you enjoy these types of videos then go ahead and hit that subscribe button I am chaotic mom I do a lot of planning crafting things like that. So if you like, you know, crafting paper, crafting, things like that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications because I'm always into some kind of paper crafting at my desk back here. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some relaxation in watching this tutorial because that's what I was kind of going for with the titles and the relaxing music. Also, my house ain't never quiet. I can never keep everybody quiet long enough to do voiceovers. This is like the longest one and it's currently like one minute and 30 seconds. So I better go before the dogs bark or the kids holler for me. <laughs>